day one of wedding planning. <laughs> I'm like not stressed yet, but I know there's just so much that goes into a wedding. All the tiny details, and I know I'm gonna get overwhelmed eventually. We are currently setting the date, which is I think the absolute first thing that you do. Set the date, pick the theme, pick the color. So that's kind of what I've been working on this weekend. Um, I got engaged last Wednesday, it is Sunday, and we're gonna sit down, meet my fiance, and just go over all the basics. So my fiance's family was in town this whole weekend, so he is behind me kind of taking a nap, which is totally fine. And I'm just just gonna get started on some of the stuff that I know that I want or I want done and then we can talk about it when he wakes up. I'm kind of like a type A personality type of person so I will be having lists and binders and organized and everything you know the way that I want it and then however it turns out on the day I'll be fine because you know the whole point is to get married not to have a perfect wedding but may as well try to make it good. So let's get started by going on The Knot which is gonna be my main wedding planning thing where I create my website and my invitations and everything. I just finished the website and it's so cute. I love it. Why we're getting married, it just talks all about Jesus. Showing our wedding theme and what I want people to wear. Oh, by the way, I chose my theme, which I think we're not surprised here. Good morning, it's the next day. I did stay up pretty late looking at DIY wedding inspo and everything like that. Hi Phoenix! <laughs> and that's about to be my life for the next who knows how long. Also if you're new to this channel and you don't know, me and my fiance uh, both work full-time jobs so it's busy, like I'm not just vibing around planning a wedding, I also have to work, as most people do. I did just tell everyone at work that I got engaged last week and they were like, how did you even keep it in for so long? And yeah, so they're super excited, I'm excited. I actually just booked my first wedding event. I am going wedding dress shopping this Friday and I'm going to be in my hometown this weekend and I'm doing it there for a lot of reasons, but then all of my cousins and sister-in-law and stepmom and all those people can actually go because uh, if I go wedding shopping here it's gonna be like me and my friend Charlie probably. <laughs> I think the hardest part so far is like we're trying to pick our budget and we're trying to ball out on a budget like this is gonna be a DIY backyard wedding so just figuring all of that out and then like how much my dress is gonna be and like can I somehow get a lot more money? <laughs> but like I said this is like super early days of wedding planning except we might be planning on getting married in October and it's May. Five months from now a whole wedding in a different state because I think we're getting married in my dad's backyard. Um, <laughs> why do I do this? This is going to be very difficult. Let's just say that. I live in Texas right now. My family lives in Missouri, but I'm pretty good under stress. Like I said, I'm pretty type A. So as long as I have like people willing to help me, I'm definitely going to be able to get it done. So this weekend, since I'm going to be in my hometown, I'll be able to go over a lot of the details with my dad, uh, make sure that the date works. Finally got off work. Also while I was working, I was watching a ton of videos about DIY weddings, backyard weddings, priorities, how to have a wedding on a budget. And I think I learned a lot. And since I'm in such early stages, but I'm so ready to just dive in and start planning it. I think setting the date is gonna be the most important thing. Cause once I set the date, I can actually start booking stuff. So the plan is by this weekend to have the date set. I also am thinking about making a spreadsheet of all the videos that I wanna film. So let me know what kind of videos you guys want. I haven't even filmed like the announcing that we're engaged video yet because there's not actually a video of the proposal so that video this video which is like starting to wedding plan all the videos that i want to actually film on the wedding day i'm thinking about having someone be a designated youtube person for me that just vlogs so not like you know official video but just like fun background stuff tiktok videos one of the things that me and my fiance talked about last night was who we want to be in the bridal party and we're kind of struggling because originally we wanted it to be a pretty small bridal party but there's just so many important people in my life and if you're invited to the wedding that means you are extremely important to me because we're trying to have a small wedding so that alone I love you no what I feel like no one talks about like the stress of choosing the bridal party because I want it to be small that's just not gonna happen and we're definitely gonna have more girls than boys so I guess it's fine to be uneven I just like 
I don't know what to do. I also redid my nails yesterday, like yesterday night. So I'm actually gonna spend right now kind of mapping out some known expenses as well as some inspiration for some stuff. Um, I already started, this is what me and my fiance talked about last night, like a little Google sheet that just has basic information. So like his priorities, my priorities, what we actually want to happen, a little bit of talking about the budget, talking about the timeline, because we're gonna have multiple activities throughout the week. What kind of activities those are gonna be? Well, I was gonna say that I need to start my plan for diet and exercise but last fall i lost like 15 pounds and i almost gained all the way back now and i'm ready to kind of lose that again even if i'm just active during this time so that i feel my best and of course looking my best would be a bonus it's been some time of just watching videos planning some stuff and i think i want to i was like no that's a waste of money but honestly i should just do it because bridesmaids and groomsmen are, end up spending you know some money on their outfits and whatnot so i can spend some money on them so we are going to get them personalized gifts um so i came up with the idea for the girls there's like these glass cups i can get with their name and their birth flower personalized on it um so i'll get those and then for the groomsmen either a tumbler or a whiskey glass with their names on it depending if they drink or not so i think that'll be really cute and i think we just finalized because we were just talking my fiance and i who we actually want to be in our bridal party it's now tuesday exactly six days after we got engaged and i want to talk a little bit about not wedding planning but marriage planning i feel like it can be really hard for us as brides and women to get like super excited about the wedding day planning every detail making it like a dream come true that we might forget to actually prepare for the marriage itself so i want to share with you guys what we're doing i feel like we've been preparing for marriage since the day we started dating we we're very intentional i'm dating you because I see myself marrying you and seeing if that'll work out. And so once we got engaged, like, okay, we are definitely getting married. Let's buckle down and get ready for it, I guess. We met with our Bible study teachers about kind of mentoring us, doing kind of like a pre-marriage counseling thing. Our church does offer a full-on pre-marriage counseling, uh, which we might do. But they recommended these two books. So first is called Ready or Not, 12 Conversations Every Couple Needs to Have Before Marriage. And we're almost done with this book. It's pretty good. Um, luckily, I feel very thankful because everything that we've gone through in this book, we've already talked about, already on the same page on, and agree with pretty much everything in this book so that's really good but once again it's just good to go over and make sure we're on the same page about everything this one is very just like topics that you're gonna have to deal with so like what's the point of marriage looking to win or seeking understanding how much does our faith really matter learning to live with each other in an understanding way this is i think the second chapter is like do you see marriage as permanent unconditional covenant designed by god intended to mirror his love for us and just questions like that so each chapter will have like topical questions that you can go through and i feel like this is just a good time to add that like god has been preparing me for marriage since i started dating my fiance abram he completely changed my view about how marriage works what the purpose of marriage is i feel like i've grown a lot and matured a lot in this area of my life a lot of you guys know my past and so i don't feel like i have to prove myself to anyone on the internet but at the same time it's so understandable for people to have questions and maybe i'll make a video about it in the future the second book that we're going to start once we finish that one is called saving your marriage before it starts i actually don't know what this book is going to be about because i haven't read it so there's like myths like everything good in our relationship will get better when we get married so kind of excited for this i've had a few of the books recommended to us so we're just kind of reading through these things um meeting with our bible study leaders and of course just working on our own personal relationship with god and letting god transform our hearts uh both of us separate times have discussed like a moment with god where our hearts and minds really changed and our attitudes towards each other like okay this is now my spouse i am on their team we're a team i protect them over everyone else you know that leaving your father and mother and clinging to your wife kind of idea and god has really started to change the way we treat each other even since six days ago being engaged so it's kind of crazy let me know what other questions you guys have maybe on this subject and i do think i will eventually make a whole video talking about these kind of things okay back to wedding planning it's a little bit later in the day me and my fiance went grocery shopping for the first time as fiancés <laughs> and we got coffee and ate lunch during our lunch breaks and we discussed a lot of stuff about bridal party what we wanted to look like who we wanted to be and we already picked out who will be our maid of honor and best man stay tuned for the video of us asking them because i just ordered all that stuff and then i'm also going to involve a bunch of other girls and he's going to involve other guys in other ways like who's invited to the bachelor and bachelorette parties and who's just involved in other stuff 
five bridesmaids and four groomsmen. That's kind of the plan. I also just got off the phone with my mom, talked over some details on date. I might have to change the date from the date that I originally chose, so. Like, you know, yeah, like, like the girl on the phone with my mother-in-law. Yeah, that's true. So okay, more the sports bra under this tank top. I was filming something for work and I had a jacket on, but <laughs> just talking about dates, of course, they were both like, it's your wedding. I am really glad to be in a supportive family and marrying into a supportive family. Everyone's like, we'll make it work for you. This is your day, your wedding. But um, my mom said that they kind of have a bunch of stuff going on. The whole month that I wanted to get married because right now I'm planning on my dad's backyard so it has to be you know before basically a certain time or it's gonna be bad weather I could push it if I get a venue instead I could push it to the next month also Missouri you literally never know it could be freezing it could be hot it could be raining it could be snowing it could be hailing surprise you never know oh my gosh I just talked to my fiance about it and he's like you just keep changing your mind <laughs> but we might actually do a venue because I was looking at venues and while they are expensive they're not as expensive as I thought because I guess my hometown is cheaper but but that kind of changes the whole vibe of the wedding from chill backyard barbecue to formal reception and I'm not like super stressed about all this I just think it's fun to bring you guys along and share like all the little updates of where I think I'm gonna go with this wedding so this will probably be the only video that's this hectic and this I don't know what's going on a little bit later another quick update I just looked at some venues I found a different venue that I like um, and I actually scheduled a tour for it on Friday while I'm in town so I'm about to film for work that's why I look all cute but it's the next day and I just wanted to update you guys that I actually booked to go look at three venues and those are all close to my hometown and I'm gonna be looking at some that are a little bit further away near the lake so I don't know if I'll even have time to go look at those if I find ones that I like because I'm only in town for a few days but that might be an excuse to have to go back I don't remember what I said last but I think I found my dream venue and it is gonna be more towards the lake it's my favorite one so far it's my mom's favorite one it's Abram's favorite one and I'm gonna go look at it on Monday so I should be looking at about four venues this weekend I'm so excited y'all are gonna die over this one the, this one's more like modern black that kind of vibe uh, such a pretty ceremony location outside as well all the other ones are like cabin in the woods which I like but I think this one fits my vibe better also my work sent me this like literally my boss was like, oh, wedding planner, and it's so good. Let me show you. So these are our priorities, our ideas, and then it has all these tabs, budget and plan, guest list, vendors, wedding day. It's like folders to put pictures or contracts or whatever in here, so I really like this. And that's gonna be it for the first wedding planning video of many. Like I said this weekend, I am going to look at venues, try on dresses, so there should be boom, boom, boom videos back to back to back. And this will probably be almost what all of my videos are about for the next, until I have my wedding. I'm sure I'll have some normal ones in between, but I'm glad to be back active on YouTube. Subscribe if you want to follow along in the wedding planning journey. I have a playlist that this video is in where you can watch all the way from the proposal to the wedding day as we go. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.